Hey everyone, Jeremy here with Jeremy David Designs. This is my very first YouTube video, so if while you're watching it, you you know you enjoy it, you find it educational, um, please give me a thumbs up. Help get me off to the right start and get me some views. That would be so awesome. So anyway, that being said, like I just said, this is my first video, so I might be a little nervous. I might stutter and repeat myself a lot. I'm going to work on that, but I'm just warning you, okay? Um, so anyway, that very that at the beginning of this clip you saw a ring, and that's actually a Bentwood cremation ring that I made for somebody. Uh, it was a customer that I'd never met before. He wanted the ashes of his dog in the ring for his upcoming wedding, and um, so I did it for him. And I was sending him clips of the different processes along the way, and he was just blown away by it. He kept telling me I had to make a YouTube video, so. Here I am, I'm taking the advice of a complete stranger and making my first YouTube video. So that being said, that ring, like I said, was a Bentwood ring. And I used for the core something called celluloid. It's, it was this blue and black celluloid. They actually make guitar picks out of this too. But I'm not making a guitar pick, I'm gonna be making a ring. Um, and then the outer wrap was actually just a piece of wood veneer, real thin, and you just wrap it around there. And I'll show you guys how to do all of this. Coming up at the end of this little clip here, I'm going to actually show you the whole process in a hyperlapse video super fast. And I'll voice over it to show you, uh, to kind of explain what I'm doing. And then after that, I'm going to be doing uh, a more in-depth tutorial of each, each step. It's about an 11-step process, five hours of work. So I'm going to be breaking that up probably into several videos. I'll combine some steps together and some of the videos are just going to be one step because they take a while. Um, but once again, I'm going to be playing the process of that, that ring you saw at the beginning and I'll explain it along the way. So basically, um, for that ring and the ring I'm going to be actually showing you step by step, I'm going to, uh, <clears throat> once again, use celluloid, but this one I'm going to do Green Bay Packer themed. Uh, lifetime Packer fan, I'm a season ticket holder, so I might as well, if I'm going to make it for myself, I'm not going to sell it, so I'm going to have some fun with it. So I'm going to be using a yellow celluloid on that one, on this one coming up. And then copper pipe, I just cut a needle with a blowtorch and then stretch. And then I'm going to use a little bit diff darker, different wood for that ring. But <clears throat> I'll get into all of that in my videos coming up. Right now, I just want to play a hyperlapse video of the ring that you just saw at the beginning and a quick explanation of all the steps you see in the video. Now, I do miss the final polishing paste part, but that's not a big issue. So I'll explain that in the video too. So if, you, if you're watching again, and if you like the video as you're watching it, please give me a thumbs up and once again I will get in more in depth on how to do everything with making the core, making the copper band between the core and then the outer wrap of the wood and even the inlay process and cutting an inlay. So bear with me and stay tuned for this hyperlapse video. Thanks for watching. Alright here we go with the bent wood cremation ring. Uh, I started out using, um, getting the copper pipe ready to make into a band. I cut it with a pipe cutter and then I anneal it with a torch. It makes it easier to stretch it and work with it. And then after that, I go to the veneer and the celluloid and I just cut those a little bit wider than I want. And I uh, take that veneer and I sand the very edge of it just to make it easier to wrap so there's not a big... Um, gap or a big bump on it and then I take that uh, a piece of paper cut it to size that I want from the mandrill and use that to measure my celluloid and then I wrap the celluloid around the mandrill and then I boil some water I throw that veneer in it put the mandrill with the celluloid on it which um, helps form that celluloid and once it cools it stays in the shape. From there, I wrap the boiled veneer around my mandrel to the size I want, and I use some tape, and I uh, just wrap it to hold it in place, and I let it dry overnight or in a, a stove. Here, I'm taking a, a ring stretcher, 
and just slowly stretching that copper so it barely fits over that piece of celluloid that I um, already formed. From there, I use some epoxy, five minute epoxy with uh, like a 3,600 pound PSI rating on it. And I mix it with some black cellulose or uh, mica powder. And I just use that to glue that celluloid into the copper. And then I use the black in it so that you can't see any gap down to the copper. Here, I'm just cleaning up the sides and flattening it out so you, you have a rough ring blank then. And then from this point, I can start wrapping my veneer over the top. I use CA glue, medium CA glue, and slowly just put a little bit down at a time and uh, use a toothpick to kind of mix it around and um, tighten it up around the outside until that's complete. Then I'll wrap it and let it dry. Then I throw it on my lathe and I use my boring tool to flatten out the outer layer and then I do the inner layer as well. And uh, from there, I uh, <coughs> use my, my hand tool on the lathe to just uh, flatten out the sides. And on my micrometer, I'll measure it about a millimeter wider than I want. And then I flip the ring around and I do the other side to the, that width. That gives me room to sand down to eight millimeters. Now, I'm, I forgot the name of this tool, I'm sorry, but I'm just... I use it to measure uh, the channel that I want to inlay on each side before I go to my sharp point and spin it on my lathe again and make my inlay channel. From there, I use that opal and CA glue, medium CA glue, and I just put a little bit down at a time, sprinkle some opal around it. Now, normally, without the ashes, I wanted gaps between the opal so I could put ashes in. Otherwise, I'd pack that opal in real tight then i use a dremel spin it on my drill to get all that excess off before i switch to sandpaper on my lathe once again and i wet sand until it has a nice smooth finish i put down a layer of ca glue and then i move back to the lathe sand the inside down to size and bevel the edges so that it's a comfort fit before putting down a layer of, of several layers of CA glue on the inside <clears throat> as long as well as CA glue on the edges and the outside to build up a protective coat and then I'll do a light sanding before doing the polishing I missed the polishing part but it's very easy and I'll do it on the upcoming video thanks for watching all right, thanks for watching that. Uh, I know it's a lot to take in. It was kind of fast paced. I, I honestly wasn't ready for that either. <laughs> if you could tell, I was messing up a lot. Um, but don't worry, that was just a real quick summary of all the processes. So I'm going to start with uh, doing the celluloid, and then from there, so I'm going to I'm going to cut it and show you how to form it, and then I'm going to from there um, show you how to cut. And stretch your copper pipe to size and then from there I'm going to show you how to cut your celluloid and I mean your um, wood veneer and get that all ready for wrapping you know boiling it and everything like that and then uh, I'll show you how to adhere that celluloid to the inside of the copper and then how to get your wood veneer glued to the outer wrap of the copper and then um, from there I'll show you how to size that ring blank down, you know, to a better workable size, how to cut that inlay channel into the wood on your lathe, and then uh, how to inlay your opal. And for, for this one, I'm not going to do ashes. I'm just going to pack that uh, some green opal in there real tight. So once again, it's a packer ring, so it's going to have a yellow core and then a green opal inlay. And then after that, I'm going to sand it down, get, make it look pretty, and then... Um, Put some protective coats on it before doing my final polish, which I missed the pet polish in that video, but it's pretty simple. So, you know, no biggie that you didn't see the three seconds of it in the video. Okay. So thanks for watching. Give me some likes if, if you thought this was interesting and uh, I'll get going on that celluloid soon. Thanks.